Hey folks, it was a hot one across the valley today. Temperatures again up where they should be a little bit above that even for this time of year going over 100 in many locations. We're now back to 83 in Westlaco, Raymondville, Harlingen, 84 Port Isabella and Brownsville, still 87 in McAllen tonight. Low temperatures, upper 70s, low 80s once again, a warm and humid night. And then tomorrow right back up over 100 again for pretty much all of Hidalgo County, all of Star County and pretty close to 100. Most of Willis Cam and Cameron counties as well. Coolest place as usual will be the beach, about 90 degrees for your high temperature tomorrow at South Padre Island. That nature's air conditioner ish working. 100 the next two days, Saturday and Sunday, and then Monday still pretty darn close to that at 99, all above that seasonal norm of 97. We'll stay above that for a while. Satellite tonight not showing much. Pretty quiet out there, and it's probably going to stay that way. Future track keeps uh, just patchy clouds overnight, but during the daytime tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny, and with that, your temperature's off to the races, and we do it again on Sunday. Same thing, maybe some patchy clouds near the coast in the morning, but then sunshine takes over, and we go to Monday, and things just don't change much. We see a continuation of this pattern, a pattern that includes no rain, a lot of sun and some very warm days. No rain, we're dry, dry, dry. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Chance of rain is kind of off the chart for a while on the bottom end. Here's the rest of Texas tonight in this part of the country. You can see there's not much happening from here all the way up to about Dallas and back to maybe Midland and north of that. Lubbock, Amarillo, some scattered showers up there because there's a front up there. That front will stay up there. Instead, the upper level high that's off to the west really controls things. It's in the upper atmosphere, but it kind of steers the winds. It warms the upper atmosphere. Everything comes together to make it so it just can't really rain. Even though we get a little moisture, a lot of humidity down here at the ground, up above it's still very dry, so you can't get any rain out of that. And we stay this way into next week. Now, by the middle of next week, the door does open a little bit. The flow comes more out of the east by late Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday. A little bit of a disturbance could sneak into that flow and give us an isolated shower, but we're talking the middle of next week at the earliest. Tropics, we were watching this system pretty closely and now its chances of developing are gone. There's nothing left with it. Up in the North Atlantic, we're still watching Ernesto. Ernesto has still got 45 mile per hour winds and racing off to the Northeast, visiting Ireland and Northern Ireland this weekend. If you're visiting our coast this weekend, you can expect south to southeast winds at 10 to 15 knots, a moderate chop. UV is extreme, the bay temperature is 84, the surf at 78. So for tonight, a couple of clouds later on, 78 for a low, a warm and muggy night. And then tomorrow back to 100, just like today. It'll feel like 106 or warmer. A couple of days of 100, and then we cool it off to 99. And then cooler yet by Thursday and Friday, 98. The bottom line is the next few days will be hot. They will be humid. For the most part, rain free until at least Monday. Maybe some isolated showers middle of next week, but isolated the key word there, 20% chance or less even then, but the weekend just looks hot and a lot like today. That's a lot of nines. And a lot of nines and a couple of hundreds at the beginning. So it's yeah, like the a heat report is card. on. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> Maybe Joelle's. <laughs>